We are one step closer to solving the mystery of rising rates of early onset colorectal cancer. This recently published article out of JAMA Oncology is a cohort study that followed around 29,000 young female nurses and found that out of those nurses and their reported ultra processed food intake, there was about a 45% increased risk of developing conventional adenomas with the consumption of ultra processed foods. Let's talk about it. So again, we followed 29,105 female nurses younger than 50 years who had undergone a lower endoscopy without any polyps detected. Though the, out of that group, the highest quintile of UPF intake had a statistically significant 45% higher odds of early onset colorectal conventional adenomas compared to the lowest quintile. So the 45% is just from comparing the top consumers of UPFs to the bottom consumers of UPFs. So it's not like a 45% increased chance, just like period, it's just 45% increased versus if you were to not consume as much UPFs. I can't access the full article. I'm assuming it's because it's very new and neither of my graduate institutions subscribe to JAMA Oncology. So I'm gonna have to wait to see the entire article, but I can see their highlights and basically the summary of their data and like how they did it. There's obviously limitations with any cohort study and any study that depends on like people doing questionnaires and like filling things out retroactively. There's always a little bit of like, some people don't remember everything correctly. So they aren't gonna enter things correctly. There's always a little bit of human error in these studies. But doing this study with such a large sample size with such specific like criteria does help it be more powerful. Finally, I wanted to pose the question slash talk about the association between ultra processed foods and microplastics. So there is a an association between food being processed, the degree to which food is processed and the contamination slash presence of microplastics slash plastic derived compounds slash plasticizers in the food because they corrected for fiber intake, I, I would say, oh, like maybe this is because a lot of people that consume ultra processed foods are not readily getting a lot of fiber. That could be true, but they controlled for fiber intake. So I think one other reason ultra processed foods may be doing this is because of their high microplastic contamination content. Again, th there's a lot more that would need to be done to confirm that hypothesis. That's just me spitballing and speaking based on what we know about ultra processed foods containing a lot of like not like chemicals you can't bring out, but just like chemicals from the packaging and stuff and from being on the conveyor belt and going through the machines. Like a there's a lot of steps to process food that exposes it to chemicals that are edible in small amounts that you might just be like ingesting every time you eat ultra processed foods. I don't know, but I read this art or I read this overview and I really am excited to see further where this goes, what this inspires, because a lot of people are talking about this, but yeah, what I, I wanna know what you guys think. Or if you think the microplastics idea is shitty, I wanna know why. Or like, if you have a different idea of what might be causing these ultra processed foods to be carcinogenic, I wanna hear it.